Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Skincare Talk. My name is Tatamuyime and together we are going to learn how to better care for our skin. On today's topic, we have a youthful, healthy skin and the star of the show is this Sobe H Effect Firming Sheet Mask that we'll be talking a little bit more about. So this Sobe H Effect Mask, it is your intense anti-aging solution which is going to help you find wrinkles, loss of firmness in your skin, and also help your skin to look or appear younger. The key ingredients of this mask, we have plant collagen, basically just tapping into the vegan option. Collagen is a solution that better um, or rather reduce the appearance of wrinkles. We have elastine. Elastine basically is just protein for your skin and we have a hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid basically what it does for your skin is just create or rather increase moisture and your skin will be more hydrated we also have vitamin c in this mask vitamin c basically just brighten your skin and gives you that glow finish to your skin Personally, I love effective skincare products. However, I don't want to feel like I'm breaking my back and trying to achieve healthy, youthful skin. So this particular mask is going for 58 rands, $3 or two pounds, depending on where you are. Um, I love it because it's super effective, but the price is also encouraging for me to keep on um, being consistent with my skincare journey. Now that you have a new bestie and you know a little bit about her, you might be asking yourself, how do you store this product? Please store your skincare products in a cool, dry, well-ventilated place where there is no damage. I'm going to read for you the warnings of this product. This product is for external use. Avoid contact with eyes. In case of contact, flush your eyes with water. Keep out of reach of children and test on sensitive skin. You can test at the inside of your arm and if any discomfort, please discontinue immediately or if you are um, reacting to it. If your skin is getting irritated from the test, remember we're not testing directly on your face. We're gonna test with the inside of your arm because that's the more sensitive area of your body if this place it gets irritated most likely your face is going to get irritated and if it does so please do not continue using When I do my skincare, I like prepping it uh, with firstly protecting my hair and hairline. So I like using this cloth. And after cleansing your face with the cleanser of your choice, whatever you use to wash your face, you are first going to wash your face. I've already washed my face, but for the purpose of this video, I'm going to just go on and tone my face. So basically, I'm trying to open up my pores so that when I put the mask on my face, my skin is ready to absorb. So right now, I'm just petting with the light toner. You can use a toner of your choice, but with this segment or this series, we'll be tapping into different kinds of toners for different kind, um, for different types, uh, skin types rather. So I'm using the toner that I have been using for two months now, and so far it's treating me well. I would suggest you use a toner 
that you have tested and is not going to irritate your skin so now that is going i'm just going to give it a few uh, seconds just to dry up and let the, my pores to open up and get ready for their mask Also, I like going with in with um, a fan just to dry my face quicker. <laughs> now, you're gonna take your mask. There's like a lot of things on the side here. Just gonna rip off your mask like that. And you're going to pull out your mask. The mask will be folded like this. Then you're going to gently unfold the mask. Full of the serum, the anti um, aging serum. So it's a bit messy, but you know. So this is your mask. I'm going to place it on my face. So now my fingers are full of the serum. I'm not gonna wipe them off. I'm gonna just spread them down to my neck and chest area. Remember when you do your skincare, don't forget your neck and chest area. Just making sure it's lovely and secure, nice and secure. Away from my eyes and my lashes, away from my nose, I can still breathe and I can definitely still talk to you guys. But I'm gonna do that because I do want the serum to go everywhere. And on my under eye, and I'm taking it down to the neck and chest area. We are going to wait for 15 to 20 minutes. Then we're gonna take the mask off. In the meantime, you can do work on your laptop, watch something on your TV. So for me, I just need another silicone mask that I wanna show you guys, which I use to secure this mask. If I do find it, I will show it to you guys. But if not, I will show you on the next video. So we're going to take um, to wait for. 15 minutes then we'll take off the mask together so basically this is how you go to mask your face so this is just a dry silicone mask that i use to secure this one so i'll just put this one over it and then these little things behind my ears and just like this i know that my mask is secure nicely under there it won't fall no matter what i do so i like this product so much i will link it down below into my description um, uh, box please guys i will suggest you watch the video please don't forget to like of course comment after watching and commenting please go to the description box and read additional information I will link it in there.
Yo, my loves, I am back. It's been more than 15 minutes. It's literally been more than 50 minutes. The mask is so comfortable on the skin, like you'll forget. Okay, so this is, I don't know, I think it's 35 minutes later. And, woo, this is me removing, oh, guys, this is me removing the mask. And this is my skin. Look at my forehead. Look at my cheeks. Look at here. Like my chin, my neck. And guys, you know what I like to do after this? Just like holding it like this. And putting it there for a few more minutes. But basically, this is the mask, guys. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, I think putting it for longer, it's not such a bad idea. Even though they do advise you must put it for 15 to 20 minutes. But because I almost forget I'm downstairs editing um, some other work. And 35 minutes later, <laughs> uh, this is me. This is literally my skin. My goodness. So, guys. Um, as much as you know that skincare takes a while for for it or skincare products they do take a while to work so they advise for the, the for this sheet mask to use it every second week for the first month and then from there on you can just do a top up of once a month or twice a month and once you you have achieved your goal your skincare goal then you can just do once a month once in two months when you feel like you need some replumping or your skin is feeling a bit dull um, do note that we are gonna be revealing different kinds of skin products so you can just put this one in your notes this is my skin I'm I'm super happy I'm actually so surprised that the results are so quick you can see the visible glow first thing is the first thing you see is definitely the visible uh, glow and we all know that this product it works from the inside out so I can't wait to see myself um, maybe tomorrow or in two days time when the serum is really inside my pores and 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 the proteins are all working in my skin so yeah so I'm just gonna work with this one can you see there's still some residue left that you can work you can use around your neck and chest and they also advise you use it at the back of your hand because we do age the arms as well the hands as well but oh okay clearly my English is running away so this concludes our first um, Wednesday skincare talk and I'll check you guys next Wednesday when we unpack a different product.